Hi everyone, welcome back to our Automation and Cloud App Security series. My name is Caroline Lee and I'm joined by Sebastian Mullendyke. We're both program managers within the Cloud and AI Security Customer Experience team. And today we're going to be our doing our third installment of our blog series, Requesting for Manager Validation. So let's get into it. So today we're going to be focusing on a specific policy, which will be multiple failed logon attempts to an application. And what we'll do is we'll send these alerts to a Power Automate flow, which will request manager validation. By allowing the manager to decide whether to dismiss the alert, launch investigation, or disable the user, this really takes the load off of your SOC teams. So let's get into a demo. All right, so let's take a look at the policy that we've configured within Cloud App Security. We've called it multiple failed user logon attempts to a service. And essentially this policy will trigger if a user has attempted to log into an application at least four times within a five minute time period. So the activity type we're gonna be matching on is failed logon. The user specifically we're testing with is Megan Bowens. And we're going to create an alert for each matching event. But instead of sending it as an email or a text, we're going to send it to Power Automate to a flow we've configured, which is request manager input before disabling the account. So let's take a look at this flow. So we have our flow here. Our trigger is when an alert is generated. We'll add the mobile number, and I'll get to that later as to why. We're going to gather the user attributes from Azure Active Directory, such as the user profile and the manager info for that user. And here is where we're going to send an email to this user's manager requesting for their input. So our subject is security alert, your input is required. And the manager will be presented with three options, ignore alert, disable user, or request investigation. So let's take a look at these three in more detail. So the first one, manager requested to dismiss the alert. So what we'll do is we'll compose a message say for, uh, with the display name of the manager, the severity of the alert, the alert display name, where it was triggered, and a description of it. And we'll also provide the user who was compromised. So their name, email address, department, and other details. If the manager chooses to dismiss it, we'll dismiss the alert within Cloud App Security and we'll also post a message specifically within the Dismissed Alerts Teams channel. Let's take a look at the second option, Manager requested to disable the user. So we can see that the, the user will be disabled within Azure Active Directory, and they'll also get a text containing Dear Display Name, due to security incidents, your company account has been disabled by your manager, hence why we needed their phone number earlier. The alert will be resolved within Cloud App Security, and then the user will also get a confirmation email from the IT team saying that their account has been disabled. Now let's get to the third option, which is manager requested to investigate alert further. So we have the same message here from what we saw earlier, but instead we'll post a message to the alerts channel within the SOC team and we'll also send the incident details to the manager from the support team. So now we've taken a look at this flow, let's take a look at what the manager would see on their end. So here I've logged in as the manager and I can see that we've just received an email, security alert, your input is required. We recently detected a security alert from Megan Bowens and need your input to complete the investigation. After speaking to Megan Bowens, I know that this was an innocent activity, so I'm actually going to choose to ignore this alert. Great, your response ignore alert has been successfully registered. So let's take a look at Cloud App Security. So here we have the alert, Megan B multiple failed log user logon attempts to a service. We're gonna open this up and we can see that this was actually dismissed due to the flow that we created. We can see that there were at least four attempts to log on to Box. And if you open up the drawer here, you'll get more details as well about the activity. And then lastly, let's take a look at our Teams channel. We see a message 
containing the alert details and that it was dismissed by the user's manager, Julian Isla. Thank you so much for tuning in and please watch out for our next video in the Automation and Cloud App Security blog series. Thank you, bye-bye.